tonight on 16 by 9. You signed up for a no call list to keep those annoying telemarketers from bugging you at home. So why are you still getting calls? Because someone out there is selling your phone number, you won't believe who it is. Once I signed up for this list, the calls just started coming in again and again. I'm absolutely pissed. They are the changing face of the military. Women at war. Stories from the front line. I asked how come there wasn't a bigger female to male ratio in the infantry and they said because women just can't. I also have to be scared of other soldiers around me trying to abuse me. Obama mania spreads all the way to Canada. Tonight, memories from the mall. It creates ease within other countries around the world, including Canada. America has changed and it's a new day. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. That's all coming up on 16 by 9. Please don't touch the camera, that's assault. Talk to us about this. I don't need to talk to you. Can you have Oh, I'm sorry. Good evening and welcome to 16 by 9, The Bigger Picture. I'm Mary Garofalo. Were you one of the millions of Canadians who signed up for that government's do not call list? You know, that phone list that was supposed to stop pesty telemarketers from calling you at home. Well, tonight, a 16 by 9 investigation reveals some shocking information about who's gotten their hands on those millions of phone numbers and what they're doing with them. Jackson Prosco with his exclusive investigation tonight. Hello? Hi. Would you be interested in switching over to... We've all been there. Oh, gee, I, I can't talk right now. Why don't you give me your home number and I'll call you later? Not even Jerry Seinfeld could resist taking a swing. Oh, I guess you don't want people calling you at home. No. Well, now you know how I feel. At those annoying telemarketers. <laughs> They've got our number and boy, do they know how to use it. It's harassment, you know, if it was once or twice, but this is once or twice daily. They always seem to find us at the worst possible time. We're just kind of in the middle of dinner here. But all that was supposed to be history by now. Last year, the federal government thought it had a great plan, a do not call list that would let consumers hang up on telemarketers for good. Just can't talk right now. Goodbye. Frustrated Canadians were encouraged to sign up. We were told that would stop the phone calls. Consumers registered a stunning six million phone numbers in the first months. No one ever believed that information would be used against them. That was the promise, but our investigation uncovered something much different, a shocking breach of trust and privacy. Musician Lois Siegel is one of six million Canadians who thought the do not call list was long overdue. I didn't want to get calls from all these telemarketers. Lured in by the promise of peaceful time to practice, she figured she'd register every phone number she had. And I saw this list and I thought, well, this will work. But signing up for the list just made things worse. For the first time, the telemarketer started calling her cell phone. I figured out, well, why is somebody calling my cell phone? Why is the telemarketer? And then it hit me that it was the do not call list. The list made Lois a telemarketing target, and she's not alone. Can I ask you a question, actually? Can you tell me how you got my number? It happened to student Arif Qureshi, too. Once I signed up for this list, the calls just started coming in again and again. In fact, thousands of Canadians report the same thing. After joining the list, their phones started ringing off the hook. So what's the problem? We went looking for answers. You won't believe what we found. First, a quick lesson in how the do not call list works. Consumers register the phone numbers that they don't want to be called on. That list of phone numbers is then given to the telemarketers so they know who not to dial. But as our investigation uncovered, it's far too easy for anyone to get a hold of that list and use it for all the wrong reasons. Using the Do Not Call website, we were able to sign up as a telemarketer. It took less than 10 minutes. We didn't need any real information. Just a working credit card to pay a small service fee. Incredibly, that gave us access to the list of six million phone numbers. And there we go, I'm now a telemarketer. To you and I, this is just a list, but to a telemarketer or fraud artist, this is a gold mine. I'm on a do not call list and I really do not want to be called again. Cell phone numbers are especially valuable because up until now they've never appeared in any directory. The do not call list changed all that. And they've got all the numbers now and I was an idiot to sign up with my cell phone for the do not call list. 
Making the situation worse, many rogue telemarketers operate outside of Canada. They can't be prosecuted under our laws, but public advocate John Lawford says that doesn't stop them from downloading the same list we got our hands on. An unscrupulous telemarketer could use it as an actual telemarketing list. The rogue telemarketers can make 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 calls a day, so chances are they'll eventually hit you, even if there are only two or three or four bad ones. We trusted them with our numbers. We, were, we, we didn't want these people to call us. And now the opposites happen. All these people are calling us. So how did the do not call list go from privacy protector to outright fiasco? We went to the government agency that runs the list, the CRTC, for answers. Incredibly, they say they've done Canadians a favour. I think things are going exceptionally well. Uh, consumers have responded by registering on the list. The CRTC's Lynn Fancy makes no apologies for the do not call list. Nearly six million phone numbers were signed up. She says many Canadians have seen a drop off in calls. But what about the problems we uncovered? It turns out there have been thousands of similar complaints. In fact, the CRTC has 500 active investigations underway into misuse of the list. We will continue our investigations of complaints and we will take the appropriate action for anybody who violates the rules. But remember, it's impossible to go after telemarketers and fraud artists calling from outside of Canada. On the Do Not Call website, the CRTC warns it won't even try to stop them. Unbelievable as it may seem, our government is still handing over our phone numbers with no way of controlling how they're used. And they're still encouraging you to sign up every phone number you have. What we're trying to do with the list is to ensure that all telemarketers are easily able to register and download the list. And that's so that we can ensure that we can pr protect customers' privacy and reduce the number of unwanted calls. Did she just say protect customer privacy? We can ensure that we protect customers' privacy and reduce the number of unwanted calls. That has definitely not happened. The so-called customers of the Do Not Call list will tell you that. I'm absolutely pissed. You know, they shouldn't even call themselves government. They're just handing out numbers to anyone who wants them. Here's the irony. Back before the do not call list even went into service, consumer watchdogs say they warned the CRTC of these very problems. Bruce Cran heads the Consumers Association of Canada. I think you could say that it, uh, it's a violation of uh, trust. Now there's no going back. Six million of our phone numbers are out there. Those offshore telemarketers can keep on calling us or sharing the list with whoever wants it. So there's no way in the world that list could be recalled and those numbers are obviously in the hands of people uh, outside of the control of any, uh, any Canadian institution. I'm on the do not call list, but I'm still getting called by this company. It's a steam, it, it has this foghorn. For musicians like Lois. They're going to call back. Watch, this even go call back again. Students like Arif. Stop, honestly. The calls just keep coming. Thousands of Canadians have been burned by the Do Not Call Registry. All those people can do is keep on complaining to the CRTC. The Commission tells us they have no plans to reform the system, no plans to make the Do Not Call list more secure. If you have medicine, they tell you what the side effects are. Well, they didn't really tell us what the side effects uh, were going to be for this. The great idea that was supposed to silence those pesky telemarketers has left us right back where we started never knowing who is on the other end of the line. If I had known, no way. And I would discourage anyone from registering from this list. Joining us now is Jackson Prosco. And Jackson, let me get this straight. The CRTC is still soliciting phone numbers on their website, but yet they've done absolutely nothing to fix the problem. Not only have they done nothing to fix the problem, they don't actually see it as a problem. They're not planning to tighten up access to that list. So if you've signed up for the Do Not Call list, your phone number will still be sent out there. And once it's out there, you just can't get it back. Well, great job. And 16 by 9 will definitely stay on top of this story. We'll be right back. Next on 16 by 9. I wasn't a soldier. <laughs> no way. No way, no how I wasn't a soldier. I was just, I was just mom. If you have a story for 16 by 9, call our tip line 